How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. <laughs> oh, this shit is funny. All right, my royal family. We got to laugh. You need to go get your shit. All right. Anybody that's new. <laughs> It's new to the True Royal family or my backup channel. True Royal, always have your shit on deck, your wine, your weed, your drink, whatever it is. All right? I got my mm -mm -mm, grape juice on deck, lemon and lime and ice. I'm going to make it real juicy. I know some of y'all know about this, but I have said often my Royal family. You don't never know what you're going to get on the true royal family, a true royal. I like to keep some humor in it, some satire in it. From time to time, my royal family. <laughs> so my royal family, I got a bonus video. Oh, yeah. I got a bonus video. So I got a video I'm going to show you. I got some stuff I'm going to read. I'm stalling right now. So you could go get your shit and lean all up in it. <laughs> ah! This shit is hilarious. So my royal family, where should we start? Mm -mm -mm. Harvey Weinstein, you in trouble. Your greasy ass then got yourself in a situation. So let me read this article, my royal family. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein was caught with contraband milk duds in November, promoting a reprimand from L.A. County jail guards, according to records. The milk duds were found during a search on November 10th after Weinstein had a face-to-face -face meeting with uh, Sean Buckley, one of his attorneys. The milk duds were confiscated, and the guards warned that they would have to search his attorney's uh, legal binders and laptops on future visits. Weinstein claimed to the guards that he had brought the milk duds with him when he was extradited from New York in July. But the jail official said he had been searched upon his arrival at the LA County Jail Medical Facility and nothing was found, leading them to conclude that the milk dugs were passed to him during the attorney visit. Ooh, that ain't no good. Weinstein apologized for the incident in a statement. This was an innocent misunderstanding, Weinstein said. It was not, it will not happen again. I have been a model inmate following the rules and regulations, and I'm sincerely sorry. Weinstein lead attorneys, Mark Worksman and Alan Jackson also issued an apology. Oh, y'all telling on y'all selves. We have been informed about this and we are very sorry it happened. They said it had not happened before and never happened since. Harvey has been a model inmate and intends to continue as such. The disgraced producer is being held at the Correctional uh, Treatment Center, the medical unit within the Twin Tower Jails in um, downtown Los Angeles, while he awaits trial on 11 charges of rape and sexual assault in the 2020, he was sentenced to 23 years in prison in New York. The conviction is being appealed and a ruling on the appeal is expected within um, the next couple of months. Weinstein is, in is entitled, entitled to face-to-face -face visits with his attorneys as he prepares for the trial. But jail officials warn that if further contraband is found, the attorneys could be forced 
to use a special booth. Also, Weinstein faced numerous health issues, <laughs> including diabetes as well as cataract issues sleep apnea, and eye problems, all right? Now, he blames, he's blaming um, another candy that he prefers for his reason for eating what he's eating and um and all of that and we'll get in there that's all in the bonus so we, 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 we will get into that <laughs> all right my royal family let's see what's going on with you you got yourself all in trouble with them shit duds all right harvey weinstein in california there you go. Unbelievable. Um, but he's been caught with some contraband and is in a little bit of trouble. And it really makes you wonder how could someone in such a bad physical state smuggle contraband into the jail. And it wasn't a knife, wasn't a shiv, wasn't any of that. It was milk duds. Still a lot of questions tonight, though. The first question is, how did he get these duds in there? Was it a box of duds? Was it just, you know, a few loose duds, maybe? I, I just don't know. That, that part we, of the story, we don't know. But the guards were concerned because it was shortly after a meeting with one of his attorneys that they found some of these uh, duds. And Harvey Weinstein has released a statement about the duds because the guards are very concerned. He said, this was an innocent misunderstanding. It will not happen again. I've been a model inmate following the rules and regulations, and I am sorry. Uh, he is denying as well are his attorneys denying that they had anything to do with the duds. And he did have a story about the duds, which was that he brought him from New York out to California with him when he was extradited. But that was in July. The duds were found like in November or so. Really? Harvey Weinstein's not going to eat the whole box of duds between July and, like, November? That's his story. He's sticking to it. Uh, posted on social media, how did he get him in? Did he get help from the outside? Comment of the day comes from Derek. The guard passed them to him. That's how 90% of stuff gets into prison. Brian Frost, let me ask you. Do you agree that 90% of contraband that inmates have come from the guards? I, I don't know the exact percentages, but what I've been told from some of my clients is, and it makes perfect sense, uh, that the guards are responsible. And quite frankly, if the guards weren't in on it, you're not getting anything inside those prisons if they were doing what they're supposed to. And maybe it's they turn a blind eye, Maybe they're directly involved, but there right now, we have an epidemic of drugs, low cost drugs. It used to be they were expensive in jail. Now, it, they're almost cheaper than they are on the street. I've got clients that call me from cell phone. I think we're losing Brian again. Al, I'm afraid to go, I'm afraid to, go to Al Wunsch on this one. Um, let, me, let me post what Willie said. Willie said, his attorney gave it to him. <laughs> and again, the attorney has denied it, and, and uh, Harvey Weinstein has denied that as well. Al Wunsch, I will go to you, though. Um, that would be awfully dangerous, right? Uh, attorneys would never get involved in bringing anything that they're, even if their client's paying them a gazillion dollars, you get in too much trouble, you're not going there. And let's, let's face it. I mean, I don't know how he got them in, how he smuggled them in or whatever. I do know I would never have wanted to have one that uh, he, if he offered it to me, it's got to be pretty <laughs> gross. But under the circumstances, for a lawyer to do that would be insane. It would be a very dangerous move. It would be foolish, and and it would I, I can't imagine anything like that happens. It's it's a harmless, harmless thing. It's milk duds. It's an iconic candy of our youth, Ben. An iconic candy came around in in 1928. 
Yeah, it, and, and, and it's fine, but uh, it's not a junior mint. That's all I'm saying. Okay, see you early. Okay, see you early. Um, your thoughts about the milk duds and and um, how he would have gotten them? And do you are you buying his story that he that he, when he's extradited, he brought them with him from New York? Not at all. He first of all, he's not going to snitch on his supplier because this man with his sweet tooth, he has a sweet tooth craving. He's going to want more. It's an inside operation. It's an inside job. And I will bet it's either the guards or inmates before it's the uh, attorney. All right. When was the, has anyone had a milk dud this year? I have. Not at all. Mm -mm. I, 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 well, I'm a Snickers I girl. had Halloween. All right. I had Halloween. I've got a box here. Uh -uh. All right. Great job. Okay. See you early. Brian Frost, Al Wunsch. Great to have you. All right. My, my, my royal family. I'm inclined to believe that um, the guards, it was an inside job. Now, we all grown up in here, my royal family. And usually, you know, when you are, you got contraband, you have to discreetly hide it. And the only thing I could think is somebody put some milk dugs up the booty rail up a couple of booty rails that's the only thing i could think because they said they checked them now just bear with me um um weinstein um um when they were having the trial in new york they didn't let um media film anything but they did have a sketch artist and they were describing his genitalia that it's iliform, you know, um, and he got a lot of orifices. So, yeah, that's why they were cold talking because I know what I'm talking about, my real family, and some of y'all know what I'm talking about too. But to get them milk dugs in, I was thinking maybe they um, sold them together and plugged them up the ass, all right? That, that, that's the only thing that I could think of. <laughs> this shit is funny to me. You done got yourself in trouble with some milk duds. But I said that I had a bonus. Now, in this bonus, my royal family, um, this illy form dude um, is angry with um, M&M's. And let's further find out what's going on. Harvey Weinstein blamed bullying on M&Ms and years before Milk Dug bus. Now just, just, hear, just hear it out. Just hear it out, my royal family. Harvey Weinstein's recent bust for smuggling contraband milk duds into prison was not the disgraced mogul's first faux pas involving movie theater candy. In 2004, well before the Miramax co-founder was sentenced to 23 years behind bars for rape and sexual assault, there was buzz from Tribeca to West Hollywood that a New York magazine profile on Weinstein was going to blow the lid off his infamously volcanic temper and bullying. But Weinstein managed to launch what should be known as the M&M's defense in the piece blaming his bad behavior on overindulging in candy and subsequently suffering blood sugar swings. You know, for years I used to read about myself. They'd say, he has a temper, or, he's a bully, or something like that, and it always bothered me, Weinstein said in the 2004 piece, later adding, but I found out, and I just share this with everybody, is, the relationship to sugar in my body. I would just eat M&Ms all day, sweets, you know, for what I thought was energy, which is not energy at all, now that I'm off of it, he continued at the time. And what happened was the glucose level would go from 50 to 250 in my case. He added, that's what caused these outbursts. Ellipsis. We had to find out through a specialized doctor. Weinstein assured the writer that, as soon as I started to recognize the sugar thing, there have been no outbursts, adding, my relationship with sugar has been the worst relationship of my life but now I've tamed it. Ellipsis. 
I think so much of anger management might fortunately be related to one's physical diet. <laughs> the spin somehow worked, and the expose was a dud. A few years later, in a 2011 legal dispute between two filmmakers and Weinstein, the directors alleged in court papers as part of their suit that the movie mogul had attempted to consume an entire bowl of M&M candies at a screening, and that he even ate the treats off the floor when another exec tried to wrest the bowl away from him and they spilled. Weinstein's lawyers at the time called the claims false, gratuitous, slanderous, preposterous and totally irrelevant. Weinstein is serving 23 years behind bars for rape and sexual assault. Pool either way, he seems to have gone off M&Ms and moved to milk duds. Variety reported that LA County jail guards found and confiscated milk duds from Weinstein in November 2021 after the fallen movie mogul met with one of his attorneys. His legal team was informed that their binders and laptop bags would have to be searched from then on, even while Weinstein claimed that he'd brought the milk duds with him when he was extradited from New York to Los Angeles last summer. Weinstein told Variety of having the banned candy in jail. This was an innocent misunderstanding. Ellipsis. It will not happen again. I have been a model inmate, following the rules and regulations, and I am sincerely sorry. He's awaiting trial on sex crimes charges in California and has <laughs> pleaded not guilty. One of Weinstein's lawyers, Mark Worksman, told in response to Milk Dudgate, From what we've learned, this was the first and only time Mr. Weinstein was accused of violating the rules, and he has been a model prisoner throughout his ordeal here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Your ass got busted. <laughs> oh, that is so funny to me. Milk duds. Wow. How much did you pay per milk dud? I mean, how many do come in a box? Now, they say that that's a five-ounce box. Boy, I would charge him per milk dud. And most likely, again, it was either the guards first or one of the prisoners. Because he got coins. I wouldn't charge him by the box. It'd be, what, a $100? Her milk dud. But the thing that gets me is where you have to, what orifices that you have to use <laughs> to um, hide your contraband. So you're busted. They're going to write you up. And you got a sweet tooth. Seems like having your rapist, greasy, dusty ass locked up in the medical facility is helping you. But you got this strong propensity and need for sugar. You know, and then you're eating M&Ms off the floor and then you're all mad about that because it gave you energy so you don't have no knowledge whatsoever of eating natural things. You know, you're going to eat some sugar to raise up, to give you some energy. And you can eat a healthy meal. You can eat a piece of fruit and have some natural sugar. See, having money, my royal family, don't necessarily mean that somebody, um, you know, got their shit together. Ooh, shit. I keep thinking shit at the end of the day. <laughs> so my royal family, I made it real juicy. So what I need you to do is to render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe. <laughs> I don't want no milk does no more. Mm -mm, not, mm -mm.